Have you ever thought about how dirty the bags are that you put your food in at the grocery stores? Well, we decided to put it to the test. Which bags are cleaner to use? Paper bags or plastic bags? We have one of our microbiologists here to talk more about it. We took surface sampling of different bags, both plastic and paper, from different grocery stores. And surface sampling just means that we're trying to see if we can get growth from uh, any kind of bacteria or fun uh, funguses, molds. When we were actually looking at those, we were really just trying to monitor to see how much growth, uh, just visually, uh, what we were kind of seeing on those bags. The plastic bags, they had a lot fewer. Uh, on the insides of the bags, we were actually seeing uh, very little growth. Uh, and then on the outside of the bag, even though we handled them with our bare hands, uh, we were still finding a lot less of a bacteria yield than we were when we were testing the paper bag. We have Dr. David Hussong here to talk a little more about it. Now, plastic bags are manufactured using sheets of extruded plastic film that's done at high heat, which drives moisture out and also decontaminates the plastic as it's being extruded. Then they seal, again, heat is used around the outside to seal the edges. Paper bags are manufactured using wood pulp, which is pressed and then glued together after being cut to shape. A big difference between plastic bags and paper bags is that plastic does not absorb water or humidity. Plastic bags are packed in sheets that are stacked together. It doesn't allow much airflow. They're very tightly occluded, and that prevents outside air from coming in, bringing fungi and bacteria. The outermost of those bags might be in contact with human touch contamination. And that, again, will keep them free of contamination. They don't have moisture, which means microorganisms will air dry, desiccate, and die. Paper absorbs moisture and humidity or any contact, such as a raindrop. Moisture allows the growth of fungi. So even an apparently dry paper bag has enough moisture to maintain fungi and allow growth. Touch contamination and maybe some airborne dust will bring microbial contamination. There is a significantly greater presence of mold on the, on the paper bags, whereas the plastic bags were noted to have organisms that resembled touch contamination. What we're seeing is if your concern is over mold, you should stick with a plastic bag and probably skip the first one or two on the outside of the packet of bags for the inside bag. Paper bags will have a greater microbial load just because they have greater moisture, which is absorbed into the paper pulp. Well, there you have it. Plastic bags are cleaner to use than paper bags. If you have any more everyday questions that you'd like us to answer, please fill out our fact check form on our website.